Hey guys, what's up? AJ Kellogg Boy here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make it to very, very high rounds on the new zombies buried. So all you really need to do is get a good start, get a few good guns. Obviously make sure you turn on the power, gotten all the perks you can get. You don't need every single one. I actually don't even think you need that many of them. I think you just need Juggernog. To be honest, oh, don't play my fucking shirt. Stupid gerbil. Um, you might want to just get sleight of hand just in case. I got mule kick here because I needed a third weapon. But the only weapon you really, really, really need is the stun gun. I think I want to call it the resonator. I think that's what's called. Uh, because upgrade is called the paralyzer. Well, we'll see what it's called here in a second. You need to stop biting my shirt, you little asshole. Okay, but you definitely need the stun gun because the spot you're going to be in, that's about the only gun that's effective up there. And it's actually one of the only guns that's effective after uh, round 35. Paralyzer. What's it called after? Oh, the Petrifier. Okay. Never mind. Duh. Alright. That, yep, never mind. That is one other perk you need right there. You're gonna need Quick Revive just in case you go down. Because otherwise the Time Bomb that we got earlier, you're gonna have no way to use it. Once you've racked up enough points, make sure you come into the mansion, obviously. So you can make it all the way through the maze to to get your guns upgraded, because you're definitely going to want the petrifier. You can upgrade all your other guns, just for the fucking hell of it. Because why not? <laughs> not here you'll see me sit here until Last Ghost comes out. There we go. Now I think I'm going to get stamina up. Nope, double tap. I don't know if double tap actually affects the paralyzer, but I guess that's another one you could get. I, Like I said, I just recommend getting them all, just in case. But Juggernaut is the most important, and Quick Revive. Those two for sure. If you don't have those, you might be fucked. Alright, if you have the time bomb already, make sure you set it down, just in case some, some stuff goes bad. Work your way down here until you have enough to upgrade a few guns. Or just upgrade the Paralyzer if you want. Because that's the most important. And here's a quick round. It's not that hard down here if you have good guns. This is the only reason I'd recommend having another good gun. Is because when you want to come and upgrade, you're going to need it. Because it'd be really hard to get this upgraded down here if that's the only gun you had. Alright. Now I got two guns upgraded. I'm just going to jump here soon to show you when I upgrade my LSAT. And the reason I had an LSAT and got rid of, uh, what, I, what was that called? The hammer. I got rid of the hammer for the LSAT just so I could get the achievement to get the LSAT off the wall. Because I hadn't got that yet, so. That's one of the other reasons I stayed down there with it. Alright, then just use this to fly through the maze. You can jump over the walls with it. Makes it a lot easier. And then you're gonna make your way back. With all these bitches. These witch bitches. And this is one thing I don't get. Like, if you run through it really fast, they lag behind a lot, so. <laughs> you have to wait out here for a while sometimes until they all come. And there's Leroy. Look at Leroy run. He 
you, boy. Flippy heads. Ow. There you go, last one. Now I got stamina. Alright. Then you're just gonna make your way onto this roof here. It's right across from when you first fall down by where Leroy is. It's right on top of there. Make sure you do not buy that barrier, that sofa you see right behind me, because that's what makes this spot so good, is that no zombies can come from behind you and they have to jump up here. Now here I'm just showing you basically how the spot works. There. It jumped over to round 30. You just saw a glimpse of round 15. Round 30 is no different. Up until this round, this is completely easy. At like round 38 is when it starts becoming a little difficult. And this gun starts overheating a lot more. Because it obviously takes a lot longer to kill zombies. Really soon you're gonna see it on the bottom jump to around 40, 42. And I think that's the round I made it to. But you can make it a lot higher if you don't mess up. It's just, this gets really, really, really boring. But hey, if you wanna make it really high rounds, I think you can make it all the way up to 90 here, 100, I don't know. Tried and you tell me. Because this gun never runs out of ammo, so. If you can keep complete control up here and just run down there and run back up, you should be fine. I know for sure you can at least make it to 80. And here's where it glitches out, I don't know why. Like, it just didn't want to record this part for some reason. But the zombies did pressure me there while my gun overheated. And I had to go down here. And right here I didn't know why I thought I could just escape right there. But you can't. Alright, if you guys liked the video, leave a like, comment, even subscribe. This has been AJ Kellick Boy. And tell, just tell me how the spot does for you guys.